Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel Bricks and Blocks. In my previous video, I have explained you few advantages and disadvantages of both renting and buying. If you are not watched, the link is below description. Please do watch for more understanding of this video. Before we start our video, please do like and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. Let us try to understand the financial implication of renting versus owning through an example of a person who wants to own a property in metro cities. The first step is to calculate the capital needed to buy a ready to move in flat in a residential project. Assuming the market price is rupees 50 lakh, the down payment and associated transaction cost have to be taken care. The table here lists all the costs associated with a property purchase. So you can see here, price of the home is 50 lakhs. Home loan and down payment 80% and 20% respectively. Let us take 0.5% for processing and other charges. Another 0.5% for MODT charges and 6% on stamp duty and registration charges. Lump sum of 3 lakhs for amenities like gym, pool, parking and etc. And another 3 lakhs like overhead charges like wooden work, uh, interior, carpentry work. So that overall investment will be 59 lakhs 40,000. So now let's see the value of home after 20 years. Considering 8% as annual growth, the value of property become 2 crore 33 lakh. Now let's deduct 10 lakh for maintenance, maintenance cost over the period to keep the property resellable. As it's a resellable property, there will be some discount over the fresh property. Let us take that as a 5%. So total value of the property after 20 years will be 2 crore 11 lakh 39,000. It is clear that a capital of rupees 59 lakh 40 thousand is required to own a property. After 20 years, our investment value would be rupees 2 crore 11 lakh 39 thousand. Now, deduct 10 lakh for maintenance costs over the period to keep the property resellable. As it is a resellable property, there will be some discount over fresh property. Let us take that as a 5%. So total value of the property after 20 years will be 2 crore 11 lakh 39,000. And it is clear that a capital of rupees 59 lakh 40,000 is required to own a property. And after 20 years, your investment value would be 2 crore 11 lakh 39,000. Now to compare owning versus renting, the first step is to calculate the investment returns on the down payment and other related costs that one incurs while buying the house. The second step is to calculate the investment returns of the difference between the EMI payments and the rent over the entire duration of ownership. The down payment for the house is rupees 10 lakh and the other capital outlay is rupees 9.4 lakh. Therefore, the total one time lump sum capital outlay is rupees 19.4 lakh. In this example, the returns on the lump sum investment are assumed to be 12% and the returns on the monthly investments are assumed to be 14%. At the end of 20 years, if one opts for renting, he or she would be accumulated rupees 3.59 crore, which is approximately rupees 1.5 crore higher than the value of property at the end of 20 years. You can see that in the table. It is ample clear from the example that renting turns out to be a better option. However, this may not be true in all market conditions. Indian real estate market is going through a period of slump with all major metros and tier 1 cities showing softness in property prices. For home buyers who are interested in owning a house, it is recommended that unless they are buying a house for primary residence, Investment in real estate at this point does not make sense. The return or efficiency of owning versus renting is largely dependent on market conditions. 
in rapidly rising real estate markets owning makes more sense on the other hand when there is not much room for property price appreciation renting perhaps a better option the the biggest myth about renting is that you are throwing away money every month not so you need a place to live and that always costs money in one way or another as a renter you face unpredictably rent increase each time your lease is up for renewal unless your apartment is rent controlled if you live in a desirable part of town rent increases can be steep in contrast if you get a fixed rate mortgage your monthly house payments will never increase the overall cost of home ownership tends to be higher than the overall cost of renting this is true even if the monthly mortgage payment is similarly to similar to the monthly rent which option is best for you is not just about money it is also about the comfort and your vision for your life many people are also under the false impression that they should be married before buying a home that is the truth is that your ability to make payments is the only factor that mortgage lender should be considering still despite the risk added expenses associated with the owning a home many people choose it over renting it provides a more permanent place to raise your children it is also the only way to have or create the sort of residence people want ultimately the decision to rent or to own is not just financially it is also emotional thank you for watching if you like my video please do like share and subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon thank you so much